guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today we're going to be playing around with a brand new, a really big Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. I picked up this monster right here. This is the Wet n Wild Wild at Heart Artistry Palette online from Ulta Beauty and it retails for $19.99. In here we are getting... How many shades? We're getting 32 different shades in here. And they are labeled in the back. They are numbered, which I don't mind that at all. Um, this is a really big palette. So guys, I haven't even opened this palette. It has been raining the last three days here in South Texas. And this little beauty arrived yesterday. So it is Wednesday afternoon when I'm sitting down to film this video. And um, yeah, it's just, I think the rain has let up right now. So I'm hoping it stays like that until um, I finish this video and have time to go outdoors and, and swatch this palette. But uh, let me take off the sticker and then we'll dive into it. All right, so here is an up close look at the palette. So definitely a lot of neutral shades, a lot of neutrals. I think it's a good mixture of mattes and shimmers. Again, I don't know what this formula is going to be like. I don't know if it's going to be like their new formula in the um, color icon palettes. These are their new 10 pan palettes and I also brought um, over one of the 5 pan palettes. Now I've reviewed both of these uh, collections already so I'll have those videos. I'll have my Wet n Wild playlist linked in a pinned comment of this video so if you guys can you know, skip around to whatever video you find um, that interests you. But I don't think I've ever tried this artistry formula. I know in the past Wet n Wild has released a couple larger scale palettes like this, but I never tried them. So I'm going to be really interested to see the quality of this formula. Now guys, the packaging is nothing to get excited about. I mean, this is a $20 palette. This is typical, you know, Wet n Wild packaging, no frills. It's just you know, black and clear plastic. So um, let's see, you're not buying it for the packaging, you're buying it for what's inside. So I'm gonna swatch, let's see. I'm gonna do a shimmer shade and let me do a matte shade and let me do like this kind of satin looking shade. Okay, so there are three shades right there and Ooh, okay, a little crumbly, but that's okay. All right, and they don't feel dry or anything. I mean, I feel like those all swatched pretty decent. This green one is a little weak, but okay. Um, let me dip into one of these color icon palettes and I just kind of want to feel the difference in the formula. So I'm going to wipe off what I have on my fingers and I'm going to do one of these uh, shimmer shades and then this one only has one matte shade. So actually they kind of feel very similar. This is from the five pan palette. See, now that's a pretty green. <laughs> that one swatched well. This is the only matte in that five pan palette. Actually, this one swatched better than this one. Sometimes with mattes, you need to build them up. Yeah, that's okay. Again, arm swatches, guys. We can't really go by arm swatches. We gotta see how they're going to work on our eyes. So, all right, uh, I'm interested, I'm intrigued. I'm gonna be creating two looks with this palette and um, then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. I will insert the swatches first before we get started. And if you wanna see this new Wet n Wild, Wild at Heart eyeshadow palette in action, keep on watching.
Guys, I will have the rest of my makeup uh, linked in the description box of this video. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up purchasing, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Um, I have, I've already primed my eyelids and I used, and I don't know where it went, but I used the new one from Glam Light, the Icing Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Vanilla. Okay, so we got a lot of, we got a lot of shades to choose from here in this palette. Um, I like these rosy tones here. Let's let's go in with this shade right here. I guess this shade would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven. And I'm taking that shade. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. I'm taking this on a refer 15. Wow, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a lot lighter. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan. Wow, I just, okay. Well, I guess we're off to a good start. <laughs> That's a pretty shade. That's blending out really well. Okay, okay. I honestly don't know what to expect with this palette, guys. Um, I saw I saw a couple people, I think, in their new makeup releases kind of bash this, but they hadn't tried it yet. Um but I, I don't like to watch any reviews if I'm going to be reviewing a product for you guys. Like I, I need my opinion to be my own and not influenced by outside sources. Um, so yeah. Okay, so first impression. I'm pretty impressed with this shade. This is number seven. <laughs> this looks really, really pretty. All right, um, okay, so now I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm not even gonna clean it. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, and I believe that one would be number 15. I'm working that right here in the crease. I'm not gonna take it up as high, and I'm gonna bring it in a little bit right here on the outer corner. That's a nice shade too. That's a nice shade too, and it blends in with number seven really well. All right, all right, so far so good. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. So this would be, let's see, this would be 24, 23, 22. And I'm taking that on a refer 14. Not bad. Let's do, let's do a little halo eye. I'm gonna put some right here as well. Guys, I never plan my looks. In case you were ever wondering, I never come on thinking I'm gonna do a certain look. Um, I just wing everything. And I, I don't have like a script. I don't know what I'm going to say until I say it. <laughs> and that's pretty much how it goes. Thank God I'm able to, to edit myself. <laughs> that looks nice. I'm not having any issues with any of these shades. And so far it was just number seven that really gave me the most kick up in the pan, these other shades. Um, I'm not even getting kick up in the pan with them. I'm trying to see, I don't, I don't even see fallout. I'm actually wear testing a new foundation. I'm wear testing the new one from LA Girl. And uh, today I made sure to powder my under eye area. I'm actually wearing the Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. I used to have two of them. I had a, a light shade, which is what I'm wearing, and I had a darker shade. Like that, you know, was just an exact match for my skin tone and I have no idea where that one went. I have a feeling it might've got thrown away accidentally. I am pretty speechless right now. Just taking the 15, no additional product. Wow. Okay. All right, so now we gotta put a nice pretty shade in the center. I kind of like the one that I swatched. Let's just do, go in with that one and I'm gonna use my finger. 
do that right here. That's nice. That's nice, but I think it could be better if we sprayed it. And I feel like I got, yeah, I got a little bit of fallout there. I think you can see that. Um, let me wipe that away. You know what? I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of powder. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Add that here. For just in case, because I don't want this to ruin my foundation. Same brush. Now I'm going to go in with uh, shade number nine, which is this white shimmer shade here. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use my finger as well. Right here. That looks nice. I don't want to get too carried away with it. I'm going to get the brush and just... All right, I'm going to go back in with this shade right here. I believe that was shade number 22. Okay, we have we have a look going on, guys. All right, so for the lower lash line, uh, I'm going to go in with... Uh, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This would be number 16. And I'm taking that on a Refer 26. That That's pretty pigmented. Wow. Who would have thought, right? Just by looking at the outside of the palette, you probably think, oh, it's cheap. It's not gonna work. Um, can't always judge a book by its cover. Maybe that should be what I put on the thumbnail, right? <laughs> okay. Love it. Love it. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with this uh, white shimmer shade. So that would be number number nine. I'm going to spray it. This is a Refer 03. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, that's way, way, way too much, but that's a lot of pigment. I'm taking this little clean Morphe brush. And, wow. We have a look for sure. Okay, um, I want to do, I'm going to go back in with this shade right here. And I'm going to run that along the lower lash line as well with the Refer 26 but I'm gonna keep it a little bit closer to the lash line. Shade number one is a matte white, and I'm gonna clean off this Refer 26, and I'm gonna get pick up a little bit of that, just to highlight the brow bone with it. I'm gonna add some mascara, some eyeliner. Both are gonna be wet and wild, and then I'll pop back on and show you guys the completed look. All right, guys, so talk about a first look, first impression with this wet and wild, wild heart artistry palette. This looks good. I love it. I love it. I added two coats of the latest mascara that Wet n Wild has. This is a big pop of mascara. And of course, I'm using my two same good old faithful Wet n Wild breakup proof eyeliners. I have liquid and retractable pencil. Um, that's what I have liquid on the top, uh, retractable on the lower waterline. This is the look that we got. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, but we still got to get through one more look, one more eye. So let's jump over and start working on that look. Okay, so I think I want to use, I think I want to use the green because I love green. Um, what should we start with? This shade looks pretty. It looks like it has a little bit of like glitter in it, but it's one of those matte shades with a little bit of glitter that will probably not even show up. So I'm gonna start with this shade. This shade would be number four. And I'm going in with the Refer 15 and we got more amazing pigment. Wow.
So you can't even tell that that had like a sparkle to it, right? That's why I don't understand some of those, these matte shades that they have that little micro glitter in there that's so fine. You can only really see it in the pan. I mean, whatever. I'm just looking for the shade. And that is a beautiful shade. All right, I think we have a nice blend going on. All right, let's move on to another shade. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one would be number 23, I believe. And I'm taking that on a refer 14. Wow. Okay. I'm going to be working this out here and also working it into the crease. This is a nice blend. This, wow. It's easy to blend, it's pigmented. I mean, what more could you ask for? All right, now I wanna go in, now I wanna go into the green one. This is the one that we swatched earlier. And I know now that I wanna spray the brush. So same Morphe, M124. Wow, I like that. I like that a lot. That looks really, really nice. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this dark brown right here, just to make sure everything is blended. Guys, I hope you all are liking it just as much as I am. Like, I hope you all are bl as blown away as I am because I guess I just wasn't expecting this kind of pigment and blendability from this palette i mean i don't know why i've always had good luck with wet n wild but i don't know wow okay so i'm gonna come back to the lid but now i want to do something on the lower lash line let me do i'm gonna start with this shade right here this would be shade number three and i'm gonna bring that down some on the lower lash line and i'm using the refer 26 i'm using like a lot of just the same brushes i really haven't been using that many brushes. I think I've only used like four or five brushes. See how I'm just bringing that down? And then I'm going to add a deeper shade really close to the lash line. All right, now same refer 26 and I'm going to try this deeper brown right here. This one would be number 24. Now I'm gonna use a refer number three. I am gonna wet it and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one would be six, number 18. You wanna add some of that right in here. You spray the brush again. Wet n Wild always amazes me. I'm gonna finish up this look off camera with some liner, mascara, and then I'll pop back on and we'll look at the completed look number two. And then of course, I will give you guys, if you don't already know, my final thoughts. All right, guys, so this is the completed look number two with the Wild Heart. I want to say Wild at Heart, but it's Wild Heart uh, Artistry Palette from Wet n Wild. I added uh, some more breakup proof liquid eyeliner to the top lash line and to the lower waterline. I went in with a new one from ColourPop. This is in the uh, Lush Life collection, and this green shade is called A Glow. So that's what I have going on there and two coats of Big Papa Mascara. I really do enjoy this one. Out of all the Wet n Wild mascaras, I think this has been my favorite one. And this is the look that we got. All right, guys, now it's time for final thoughts. 
All right, guys, I think it's pretty clear. I am pretty blown away by this new Wild Heart eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. I was not expecting this at all. And I don't know why. I mean, I've always, like I said earlier, I've always had good luck with Wet n Wild makeup. Um, even so many people that were saying, oh, these, you know, new color icon palettes, they were no good, they were dry. Um, I think some of you all might have gotten a bad batch because honestly, all of the ones I had, you guys saw me swatch them, you guys saw me, you know, use them, create looks with them. They didn't give me any issues. They didn't give me any issues and this palette definitely did not give me any issues. I think if these were a miss for you, I think you should try this one. I, I really think that you're gonna enjoy this palette. Yes, it's a big, bulky palette. At least it's not It's not too thick. It is rather on the thin side. Um, but this is a nice neutral palette with a few pops of color in there. Um, if you're lacking a neutral palette, maybe you just want something new, you just wanna try new makeup and you don't have a lot of money to spend, $19.99, use your Ulta $3.50 off coupon, and you can get this palette home. Right now, Ulta Online is the only place that I've seen this palette. I haven't seen it yet on the Wet n Wild website. If it's there, I will link it, but as of right now, Ulta Online is the only place that I've seen it. I don't even think it's available in Ulta stores. I think this is just like maybe a soft rollout and then they'll probably have some kind of campaign to go along with this really soon. But I'm glad that I picked it up. I'm glad I got my hands on it because I just, wow. I really, really enjoyed working with this eyeshadow palette. I think you're going to get it home and be very pleasantly surprised by it. Um, as with a lot of makeup, guys, um, I know you see, you know, your favorite YouTubers try the makeup before your eyes. And what might work for me, what might work for them, it won't always necessarily work for you. And a lot of things, you know, in life, they're just trial and error. And um, I just, I think this is something that is going to work for you though. I think this is something that a lot of people will enjoy, will get a lot of use out of. Um, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just blown away with it. I, I really do like it. Wet n Wild, you did a fantastic job with this. And I hope there's a big, beautiful campaign to showcase how amazing this palette is. Now I need to go outside and swatch it. Thank God it is still not raining. So I'll be able to show you those swatches in natural lighting, in cloudy lighting, because it is, you know, overcast outside. Um, but that's what I'm going to do right now. I had so much fun guys. Let me know what look was your favorite. Are you like this rosy halo eye or are you over here this green and gold moment? Definitely sound off below and let me know your thoughts on this. What was your first impression of this palette just by seeing it online? Were you like, oh no, not another neutral palette or it's probably gonna be no good? Be honest in the comments. Let me know what you thought and if you get it home and try it, definitely come back and let me know how it went. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink that water, cheers, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.